So the, the courses that we do on the master's programme range from the whole area of laser physics, through, from experimental work, through to all the fundamental laser side, uh, through to fabrication, which is the area that we specialise here in Southampton, uh, where the students will then go and actually use some of the equipment and then ultimately in their project, then they'll try to bring all of those areas together to, to build some sort of system or characterise or maybe do some modelling. And so actually the, the master's programme is designed to work around the strengths of the students, but there's a core set of uh, programmes to do that. And I, I work on the uh, experimental physics side, so I start with the, 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 so the first semester working the students through on the fundamental laser characterisation, uh, building up experiments and getting them the feel for that side. And then also talking about how do you do experiment properly, taking that data via a computer processing it, analysing it and then potentially presenting it then in a conference or in a paper. So in our PhD programme we would decide upon an initial title for the, for the student and that would be agreed between the student and the, and the supervisors and that could be one or up to three. Um, and, and that is again building around the strength of the student, is it more experimentally based, uh, fabrication based or is it more theoretical? And then those students would working those areas with, alongside the colleagues, post-docs uh, post like myself um, and, and, to, and to build up a portfolio of work for their final thesis. Um, and that again, we, we, in, as part of that programme as well, there's a series of uh, lecture series in the first year uh, and that revolves around basic fundamental physics again uh, to more hands-on practical fabrication experience and so they would get to know all of the basic equipment that we use downstairs in the clean room and in the laboratories up here so they have a, a good broad depth of knowledge so that when they go out and leave the ORC uh, into either industry or into academia they have a wide range of knowledge which will then assist them in the rest of their career.